Salvete omnes. So we'll be talking about Lingua Latina per se la strada, capitulum tertium, uh, chapter the third, the third chapter, and the grammatica section today. Uh, we'll be talking about nominative and accusative, nominativus, nominative, et accusativus, and accusative. Now, nominative, I like to say, is kind of sort of in control of the sentence in a way. Uh, with my hand signals that I do in class, I do the driving the steering wheel. This nominative is uh, going to be the subject of the sentence, or um, sometimes words that refer back to that subject that are linked back to it by a linking verb like est or sunt is or are. Um, so that's nominative. Nominative is usually not a problem for people. It's the first form you learn typically. Accusative, um, I like to tell people to think of it as a target. The accusative case is a target uh, and you're shooting at it. Um, so when I do this with hand signals, I sort of t make a fist and I hit my hand and I say goals and objects. So a goal is where you're going to. So if you throw something, you throw a dart at a target trying to hit the bullseye, um, the accusative uh, would be the target or perhaps the bullseye in that equation. And whatever you hit, that's the direct object because a direct object is a technical term for the word in a sentence that receives the action from what we call a transitive action verb. For example, I love John. John is the direct object, receives the action of loving. Or um, you see the book, the book receives the action uh, of that transitive action verb there. So we'll be talking about nominative and accusative today. Um, essentially, the spelling changes in Latin. We don't change the spelling in English except for maybe with a few pronouns, like we'll say he for a subject, him for an object, uh, she for a subject, her for an object, but usually in English we don't. So this is a little bit funny for people. We use word order in English to tell what the subject is. Subject comes first in a sentence, then the verb, and we end with the object or direct object. SVO word order. I love you. So I is the subject. Uh, love is the verb and then you is the direct object. John loves Jill. Okay, so John is the subject. Loves is the verb and then Jill is the direct object. But in Latin, um, the word order doesn't matter so much. You can put the object, the direct object first and the subject last for that instance because the spelling of the word tells us what they're doing. So let's get right into it. Masculinum, masculine. Marcus ridet. Marcus is laughing or perhaps is smiling. Quintus marcum pulsat. Quintus hits Marcus. Now we say hits Marcus, but notice in Latin it says marcum. Well, why? His name is still Marcus, but why do we say marcum instead of Marcus there? Well, we're saying marcum because he is the direct object. So that U-M ending tells us that. Going on, Marcus quintum pulsat. Marcus hits Quintus. Quintus plurat. Quintus cries. Marcus nominativus est. Marcus is the nominative. Marcum accusativus est. Marcum is the accusative. So the accusative again is the target case. That's where you're going to. You hit somebody, you love somebody, you do whatever to somebody or something. They're the accusative case. They receive the action of that verb. Quintum est accusativus, quintum is the accusative, quintus nominativus, quintus nominative. Nominativus us er, accusativus un. So nominative ends in us or an r, accusative ends in the um. These are all masculine second declension words as examples. Exempla, examples, Julius, julium, filius, filium, puer, puerum, eum. Eum is a um, pronoun. Uh, the nominative of that is actually is, which means he, but we haven't learned it yet. So eum means him, the accusative case. All right, and then femininum, feminine. Julia cantat, Julia sings. There she's in the nominative. Marcus Juliam pulsat, Marcus hits Julia. There she's in the accusative. The Juliam, the am ending, tells us She's where the target is, all right? She is the target of, ah, poor girl. She's the target of Marcus's hitting, right? Julia, Emilia Mocat. Julia here, uh, calls, rather, Emilia. So here, Emilia, because it ends with am, is the target of the calling. Julia calls whom? 
Well, she calls Amelia. Amelia when it, Amelia comes. Julia, Amelia, nominativus est. Juliam, Ameliam, accusativus est. So by adding the am ending rather than the normal a ending for nominative, you turn the word into the accusative and make it receive that uh, action from the verb. You make it sort of the target again. Exempla, puella, puellam, parwa, parwam, aam. So puella, nominative subject, puellam, direct object, parwa would uh, describe a subject as small, parwam would describe a direct object as small. Aam means her, that would be a direct object. Werbum, uh, verb. Cantat is a verb. Rida is a verb. Dormit is a verb. So they have italicized all of those. Julia cantat. Julia sings. Marcus redet. Marcus laughs. Julius dormit. Julius um, sleeps. Cantat verbum est. Cantat is a verb. Cantat redet. Dormit. Tria verba sunt. Cantat redet and dormit are three verbs. Exempla examples. Cantat, pulsat, plurat, vocat, interrogat, verberat, uh, all of those ending in ot. So those are what we'll learn later as a first conjugation type verb. They are also called a, a thematic vowel a verb or an a thematic vowel verb. Ridet, widet, respondet, all of those ending in et. Those are going to be called second conjugation verbs. Dormit, winit, audit, uh, ending in it. Those are going to be called fourth conjugation verbs. There are also some third conjugation verbs we'll learn about that will also end in it, or a short, short I plus a T. So here's some examples. Marcus, nominative. Juliam, accusative. Pulsat, verb. So there we have Marcus, nominative subject. Hits, verb, pulsat. Julia, Juliam, in the accusative. Quintus, Marcum, widet. Quintus, sees Marcus. Now, note, by the way, I could flip-flop those words around. I could say Marcum Widet Quintus, and it still says the same thing. It still means Quintus sees Marcus. Because the us tells us that Quintus is the subject, and the um tells us Marcus is the direct object. Julia, Emilia Mocat. Julia calls Emilia. And again, we could say Emilia, Julia Mocat, change the order around, still says the same thing. As long as you have the om or the um, that's the direct object. Amelia quintum interrogat. Amelia asks Quintus, quis me vocat? Who is calling me? So me is an accusative form of the word for me. So that'll be a direct object. Quintus respondit. So there's no direct object there. Uh, the direct object would technically be the words in quotations, the thing that he responds. Quintus answers, and then you would quote what he responds. Julia te wokat. Julia is calling you. So te is the accusative form of you singular. Marcus aon pulsat. Marcus is hitting her. Amelia puerum werberat. Amelia whips the boy. Marcus plorat. Marcus cries. Julius aum audit. Julius hears him. Notice the um ending again, even on the pronouns to make it a direct object. Aum him. Julius win it. Julius comes. Puer probus parwam puelam non pulsat. <laughs> Lots of alliteration. The good boy, puer probus, non pulsat, does not hit a little girl, parwam puelam. So again, I could change the word order around a lot. I could say non pulsat puer probus parwam puelam, or many other things. But the endings on puer and probus tell us that's the subject. The endings on parwam and puelam tell us that's the direct object. Julius irratus purum improbum verberat. Julius angry beats the wicked or bad boy. And again, I could switch those words around. I could even sort of divide them up and say Julius purum irratus improbum verberat. Now that would seem a little bit poetic or slightly strange to a Roman, but he would totally understand because the us on the Julius and Eratus tell us that those two go together as the subject, and the um on puerum and improbum uh, go together, so that tells us those together are the direct object. So you can even mix them up but among themselves and still make sense in Latin. Well, hopefully that made sense. Hopefully you learned a few things. And this concludes our lesson on the Grammatica for Chapter 3. Uh, take care, everybody. Curate vos. Valete.